Hi there Virgo, here's a general look at your solar chart for August 2009. Well, this is a great time for you to be involved in healing activities, but that doesn't mean to say you're all on your own. I think you're very much out there and uh, in the hurly-burly of a social life. Uh, so, you know, you're not going to be uh, uh, sitting, twiddling your thumbs, n not at all during September, but um, you should be doing something which is diligently uh, nurturing and caring behind the scenes. So for yourself, of course, uh, and of course, um, Virgo, you're probably going to be doing that for somebody else because you know, you are the great servant of the Zodiac. You are the one who um, is here to be of service in the community. And you need to feel useful on a practical sort of a level. And you will be doing that over August, um, both for others, but don't forget yourself. But the allies are going to be there. Um, the cavalry is going to be there uh, uh, this month. The support group, whether it's friends and acquaintances, or whether you're going to get involved with some kind of group gathering where you're going to be making new contacts. Um, there's a real <coughs> progressive feeling affecting uh, this area and you'll be receiving inspiration and a sense of freedom but also a sense of support, a sense of uh, cooperating, collaborating and just being reinforced. It's there if you want it, you can tap into it. From the third, uh, your ruling planet Mercury is in coming into your own sign. That means you'll be able to express yourself more fluently. Um, you'll probably have a lot on your mind. Um, you'll have a real urge to sort of get in amongst um, activity. Uh, also, that uh, you know your mind is going to be buzzing probably with uh, new ideas. Um, you, you may be at that time learning something new and being challenged on that mental level. You could be traveling more. You could be going to and fro, fro more during that time there. And you could be very busy with chores, um, learning whilst doing uh, and um, I think uh, um, enjoying uh, um, it to uh, whatever degree it would indicate in your personal natal chart. You could be feeling a strong urge to um, make headway in a kind of a worldly way, put your best foot forward, make the right impression on the right people. Uh, could be crossing sores with bureaucracy, could be, um, you know, uh, a little bit of a um, a difference of opinion with an authority figure, shall we say, uh, the boss, somebody who's trying to be in control. Um, so uh, this month also you're going to be feeling competitive, you're going to be feeling quite confident and wanting to stand up for yourself. Um, you'll want to slay the dragon of your own doubt or another's doubt and negativity, uh, including your own. Um, you know, that is that is uh, um, what you might have to, the challenge that you might have to um, meet this month. You'll feel um, it's important to um, keep up to a certain standard though and um, to make a good impression on you know the right people um, but remember the most important person is yourself. So uh, you've got uh, this urge to build, uh, build a reputation, no matter how arduous it is, um, and um, stand your ground um, with, um, as I say, you know, uh, in the face of red tape or delays or authority figures. There could be some conflicts and confusions um, around the 17th to the 19th, um, something unexpected going on between the 20th and 22nd. Between the uh, 17th to the 19th, yeah, vitality could be under par. You could be feeling um, the weight of things on your shoulders. Uh, so steady and carefully as you go there, don't do anything major then. The 20th to the 22nd, um, there could be some surprises there uh, from partners, um, which could... Uh, 
you know, take you unawares. It it could be a sudden leap forwards. It could be a sudden leap in a direction that you weren't expecting. Um, it could also be a very inspiring energy uh, which will help you. Virgos with birthdays between the 11th and the 22nd, you're going to be feeling the passage of Saturn in close proximity to your sun, slowing things down, making life a little bit more serious and challenging. It's that reality check transit that comes once every 29 years. Uh, in fact, if you subtract 29 years from your age, this will give you some insight into what the previous cycle um, uh, panned out like. It, w it will give you an idea of what it was all about and, 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 and what decisions happened or, uh, um, and, and what happened next. Uh, and what 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 path you set your foot upon from that uh, point there um, when you see what happens next you'll realize that it was a crossroads moment it was a watershed from which you developed along a completely different path now those of you too young to remember <laughs> or to even take 29 years off your life um, uh, if you were at, at least born then you may see how that energy played out in the lives of the guardians uh, around you and those close to you and therefore the knock-on effect um, it had on you but also it kind of had a direct effect on you it kind of been some kind of a health thing or whatever it is in your natal chart I couldn't at all even attempt to to be you know to, to give any kind of a, um, an idea about that unless I, I knew what your natal chart was or is this also goes for Virgo rising people so you Virgo rising people that'll be between about the 18 degree mark and the um, 22 degree mark if you know where your rising sign uh, degree is those born between the 11th and the 13th the good news is that as uh, august unfolds and comes to an end you'll feel a lightening and an easing of this pressure uh, of saturn and this will be the last passage of saturn over that point saturn you know is a great builder uh, and uh, you will find that y uh, new routines uh, new structures uh, will have been kind of built into your life because uh, at whatever level you've been able to um, meet this very very heavy earthy energy uh, with its demands and it's it's very testing energy um, then so you will go forwards along that sort of tack in your future <clears throat> so it's going to be hel it's, it's a help it, it's a planet which actually helps ultimately uh, for you to be realistic about what is doable uh, and what is possible and about the limitations yes but also um, you know your strengths uh, your potentials and and what you can do which maybe before you never considered you you could do uh, and so it's it's the passage of this planet will have allowed you to really prove something to yourself and uh, uh, show your true grit <laughs> um, but you do need to be patient you do need to work within you know this dimension very much so with time because Saturn rules time so be persevering and um, try not to get too f fed up from the 23rd uh, you'll be feeling uh, your confidence renewed more enthusiastic about pushing forwards with the new beginnings that are coming into your life um, which are connected to the eclipse of last month. Well, that's it for August. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too.